You may think eating healthy has to be expensive, but the truth is we can all eat healthy on a budget. And one man is on a mission to show you just how easy it can be. Hey guys, so a couple months ago I started a social media movement. Okay, so this is the first day of the produce section challenge. Ready? We've got some of this green leaf lettuce. It's only $1.29. Spaghetti squash. Roma tomatoes. 70 cents. I got some almonds. 75 cents. I go to an average grocery store and I spend an average of only $10 a day. But the catch is, you can only eat out of the produce section. Every day I post exactly what I buy, how much it costs. $10 or $7. We just did three meals for 79 cents. And how to make it. I have no training. I'm not an expert chef. I just go in there and I wing it. And I'm getting healthy in the meantime. I want to destroy that myth that it's too hard, too expensive, or too time consuming to eat healthy. No matter how rich or poor you are, you deserve the chance to eat healthy. Marley, the man yeah. behind the produce section challenge is here. And Marley, you are the best producer I've ever met. Yeah, well, thank you. That's, that, I don't know what award you get for that, but that's, that's pretty exciting. No, I love this, though, because this concept is one, when I knew you were coming on, I was excited about, because everyone always tells me the same thing. Oh, I, I wish I could afford to eat healthy. And anytime you go to the produce section, sometimes it can be really expensive. So you brought a couple of examples of meals that you make for us because we want to prove to folks that you can go heavy on the veggies and still keep it tasty. And I'm, I'm seeing some pizza here, Absolutely. which always makes me happy. It's really simple. I did uh, an oatmeal crust because I knew it would be a binding agent. Where do we start, Marley? Where do you start? Uh, mm. Well, you just eat it all. <laughs> no, <Okay. I'm> just <laughs> That's the good thing about the produce section is that it's really healthy for you. And, so. And mm. Those people, skeptics are gonna say, are you getting enough protein with this diet? What is your answer to that? Uh, absolutely, I, I think with the beans and the, and the taro chip nachos, um, with beans and grains and uh, so many of those lentils, you're gonna get really, really uh, quality protein. And, and, and there's almonds in here too, which, yep. you know, yes. nice good fats, protein. So I gotta give two this thumbs up. This is good. This is really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. You would good. never know, and I've been into cauliflower crust pizza lately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never had oatmeal almond crust pizza, but you wouldn't know that this didn't have flour in it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I just really wish that your game plan allowed for nachos. <laughs> oh, wait, there are those are. nachos? <laughs> so these are different because these are beet and taro chip nachos. Um, so obviously there's no tortillas because I'm doing zero processed foods because uh, everything is, you know, the, yeah. the food in its original state. Um, these are delicious. And are. I love taro and beet chips. I yeah, think it's a great right? substitution. Keep going back for seconds. Yeah, there we go. See? Love the black beans. I got beans. one fan at least, right? Oh, no, we're loving Obviously it. protein in the black beans, healthy fats in the avocado. And yep. it's just beautiful to look at. There's so many nice, vibrant colors. Yeah. And we eat with our eyes. I so. think that's one of the funnest things about the produce section challenge is one is that I've tried a lot of fruits and vegetables that I've never even tried. And growing up only eating fruits and vegetables, um, that's surprising to me. Like I've had uh, pepino melons. I didn't even know what that was um, until, you know, the guys at the grocery store, when you go there for 53 straight days, you become friends with all of them. Right, right. And uh, we got something new for yeah, you, Marley. Yeah, so now I'm like VIP in the produce section. So, so they're like that's slicing right. fruits and vegetables and, and, they're, and they're giving me things I never even thought I would try, mm -hmm. um, which gives me a little bit of an advantage because then I try the pepino mel melon and I think, oh, instantly, oh, I can put that in this or put that in that. Um, well, let me just say with these nachos, when I first saw the recipe, I thought, you know what? I would take these and add a little cheese to it, right. but you really don't, you don't, don't need it. And yeah. I mean that, you really don't need it. This is a great job by you. I love what you're doing. Wow. Yeah. And you can find out how to join Marley on the Produce Section Challenge by going to our website, thedoctorstv.com. Keep it up. Yeah, thank it's you. Really, really winner. cool thing you're doing. Yeah.